Hello everyone, today we're diving into the world of taxes, specifically the process of filling out and submitting your tax declaration form. I know this can be a bit daunting but let us try to understand it step by step, so let's get started. By the way, special thanks to Mr. Alan Magtuloy for his comment. Hi mom, do you have a blog on how to file tax online like page 11 and 37? By the way, I am Tam, Filipina currently working and living in Poland and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really means a lot to me. Also, just a little bit of disclaimer, I am no professional. All I share here in my blogs are the product of my personal research and experience. That is why I'll be putting down in the description box all the reliable sources I think will help you for going to search about this topic. In this video, we're going to discuss the following. Why you need to declare a tax return. What is a PIT 11 and what is PIT 37? How can you get a tax refund? How will you know if you're overpaid or underpaid? We will also discuss tax regulations here in Poland. And of course, I will show you how I file my tax declaration and how long you should wait for it. So without further ado, Let's go to the topic. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night Wanna dance to the light Pull the stars from the sky Just two hearts running wild Never sleep, never stop As we shout from the top We're gonna, we're gonna be Two hearts running wild First things first, why you need to declare a tax return. So in every country that you plan to work with, it is very important to know your obligation as an employer or worker in the government, especially when it comes to taxation like your personal income tax, right? So who are required to file this? So taxpayers whose source of income are wages under employment contract or income under the civil law contract. As you notice, every payroll we have to pay our taxes in advance, that is why we get a deduction from our salary on a monthly basis. However, your monthly payment might have a difference when you compute your um, salary on a yearly basis, especially if there are um, changes in the tax regulations in the calendar year. Hence, you have to do the recalculation to know if you have overpayment or underpayment in your personal income tax. In short, it is a recalculation of what you already paid versus what you're supposed to pay. It is important to note that tax declaration does not guarantee that you will get a refund. Sometimes you might have to pay more to the tax office. For example, in 12 months of working here in Poland, you paid a total of 12,000 water for the tax, but after recalculation, you found out that you should have only paid 10,000 water. So in that case, then you will get a refund. Of 2000 swote. However, on the other hand, if in 12 months of working, you paid a total of 9000 swote only for tax, but after the calculation, you should have paid 12,000 swote, then you will get an additional tax payable of 3000 swote. Also, there can be tax reliefs that the government can provide. So, for more details, please keep on watching. What is PIT 11? So in the Philippines, it's like the BIR Form 2316 that you receive from your employer every year. It is an annual tax declaration issued by employers to employees who received remuneration for the work performed in a given calendar year. This is submitted by your employer to the tax office as well. This document will show you your income earnings, how much you had in your salary, your SUS, and taxes. It must be given to you by your employer on or before the 28th of February of the following year. So next is what is PIT 37. In the Philippines, it's like a BIR form 1701. It's a tax declaration form filed by a taxpayer which is asked to the tax office here in Poland. You should use this form if you don't have any other source of income other than your salary or you don't have income from abroad or business. P37 can be submitted from February 15 to April 30 of the following year. 
it's better to submit the form early to avoid long waiting time. Just to share, I have friends who already submitted their tax declaration and already received a tax refund for this year. By the way, guys, I also know a Filipina that assists on filing. I will ask her permission first to be contacted and I will put her details in the description box. So the next, guys, is how much is the tax here in Poland? The personal income tax here in Poland is progressive rate, meaning the more you earn, the higher the tax is. The tax rate is 12% and 32%. I will just explain it further. So the first 30000 in your annual taxable salary is tax-free. Yes, guys. For the taxable salary of more than 30000 to 120000 the tax rate is 12%. For taxable salary of more than 120,000, the tax rate is 32%. Additionally, for your information, here in Poland, people below 26 years old are tax-free. By the way, guys, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really means a lot to me. Also, please feel free to comment your questions below as I may answer this in another form of video just like this. Now I will show you how I file my P37 or the tax declaration form. The first thing you have to do is to log into this website. I will be putting the link in the description box. There are two ways. Log in via your trusted profile or log in via giving your details of PESEL, NIP, or your revenue amount. Let us try first the second option. As you can see, you will be asked for your PESEL or your NIP. Then you will have your date of birth, the revenue for 2022, which is last year, and the revenue for 2023, the current year tax declaration. Just click this button, guys. You will see there the part which you can see in your tax declaration form from last year the amount you need to enter in the revenue for 2022 as you can see in the lower note guys if you did not submit pit for 2022 or you don't have revenue from last year you cannot use this option for security reasons to check the other option guys click this one select then you will see here ways you can log into the service of ministry of finance if you have bank guys this is the easiest way for me so i choose the electronic banking even though i already have a trusted profile so just click your bank and then input your details from your bank first is enter your customer number and then your password after entering your password then you have to verify or accept it in your um, bank application hello guys so i just went to the bank at my back so it's a bank picao so unfortunately one way to log in through the government website for tax declaration is through trusted profile and in order to have one you need to have a digital identity from your uh, bank account so bank is connected to your um, trusted profile for tax declaration so I need to update my details through giving the bank my passport and pesos if you have the same case with me you need to bring your pesos number and your passport in order to update your digital profile so now everything is clear I already successfully updated my profile so I can now log into my um, trusted profile for tax declaration. And yung bank guys. Yon. I hope I can file my taxes tomorrow so I can also share with you the steps on how to do it. But it's my first time and I hope I can do it correctly. So please, disclaimer, I'm not professional. You can seek um, services from professionals out there and yeah basically that's it upon correctly logging in guys this is what you will see in the e-tax office you can submit individually or together with your spouse or as a single parent you can click EP37 guys and you will see all the details that was from your PIT11
Since your PIT-11 was already submitted by your employer to the tax office, it will be automatically reflected here in your e-tax office. Surely, it will automatically compute your overpayment or your underpayment. Just make sure to update your details, especially your bank account information. So here are the sample of reliefs and deductions you can get when filing your tax declaration. Revenue exempt from tax. Child reliefs, youth relief, return relief, relief for four families, four plus, relief for working seniors. Just please make sure to click the read more to see the detailed guidelines of who are eligible for these benefits of reliefs. So before submitting your P37, you can um, review the document. Just click the P review button. And you can also download this file for your copy. So just for the purpose of this video, I tried to write down these children here up to four. But actually, I don't have children. So later on, I will just delete it also. I was just trying to know how to fill out this form. So if you have children, please feel free to put your child's name here and so on and you will get a relief but of course read the corresponding um, regulations about that so i tried this one and there was around 1100 swate per child just click the read more button so you will know the details and additional information about this relief the i want to make use the additional refund for unused child tax credit as you can see, it is around 5,574.12 slotte. Upon clicking confirm, it will be now reflected to reliefs and deduction. So as you can see, child relief is 5,574.12 slotte. So again, I will have to delete this one because this is only for the purpose of tutorial. But I don't have children. So if you have children that you want to declare, make sure to seek advice of the professional. What will be the regulations and requirements by the tax office for that? Then if everything is okay now, so you can now click accept and send. That it will prompt a message for declaration to verify your data. So your address, your bank account number, and then click submit. And you will have the message, congratulations, you have submitted your EP37 for year 2023. You can also click the submitted documents. So you can see it here. Click that button and you will see here your PIT 37. So if you have corrections or you want to make adjustment to your submitted document, you can do it here. Just click again the PIT 37, then submit a corrected PIT. If you want to do preview of your PIT 37, you can do it here. You can also click download document. Everything is now completed. You can have your PIT 37 downloaded and this is the file. I filed my PIT 37 on March 2, 2024 and as of today, March 5, 2024, I already received my tax refund. How long you have to wait for a tax refund? So when the tax office confirms that you are eligible for obtaining a tax refund of amount bigger than 8.8 swate, the money will be sent to you within 90 days. As for additional payment, if you're underpaid, it should be made by you in March or April. That is all for today's vlog. I hope this video is helpful. Take care, be safe, and bye-bye.